Hi everybody, Dan Ullman along with Woodbine Racing Analyst Don Lupel taking a look at Sunday's Woodbine Play of the Day. Great card at Woodbine on Sunday. Two stakes races plus the Turf Endurance Series which is part of the Late Pick 4. Also part of the Late Pick 4 is our Woodbine Play of the Day race. So we're going to take a look at the field for the $100,000 Eternal Search for three-year-old fillies going a mile and a sixteenth on the Tapita. It's a really intriguing race, Don. And as we go by the field in post position order, the number one line of vision really Really did some good work last year at two. We're going to take a look at her win in the South Ocean Stakes, and that was a really strong performance. It was. It, it definitely was. I thought it was, uh, you know, just exactly what you would want at the end of a season, too. She was rolling into that off a win in another stake race. So she's a multiple stakes winner. Inside post position, you know, her running style anyway, she figures to be more towards the back. She'll probably be at the back. So I don't think the inside post really hampers her. Are you concerned about her most recent performance, her seasonal debut where she really didn't fire? Maybe she was short off the layoff and we can expect better as she stretches out in distance? Yeah, I don't know. It's not a good sign that she had such a poor race. I mean, you would have hoped that she would have been able to pick up her feet a little bit more, especially since she's facing, you know, a couple or one of the horses she was in against there. Uh, I, I'm i not too convinced to just draw a line through it, so I put her for third. The number two is HMS Pinafore, a maiden winner two starts back. We're going to take a look at that race right now. It resulted in a solid 64 buyer speed figure, but when she stepped up in her subsequent outing, first time against winners, uh, she finished last of six. She was wide that day. She's a bit of a long shot in this field. She be yeah, it's a short field of five, and I would expect her to be every bit of her morning line of fifteen to one, and maybe even higher than that. Of the five fillies, she just doesn't seem to be in the right spot right now. Not to say she won't improve; she's actually quite nice, but uh, just not maybe in this race. The most experienced filly in the field is the number three, Go Suit Arena. A winner two starts back at this mile and a sixteenth distance. Now I thought she got a perfect trip tracking a mm -hmm. pace duel, came three wide and inhaled those horses, but I also thought she ran sneaky well last time out in the Lady Angela. We're looking at her win two starts back. In that Lady Angela, while she's got fire shot up through the inside, Go Suit Arena had to come four wide in the stretch before flattening out. I kind of like her stretching back out to this distance. I could see you thinking that she will run well because she had that peak performance at the mile and the 16th, which is what she runs here in the Eternal Search. Shortened her up and she might have bounced a little bit. Again, a wide trip. So there are some excuses there at a seven for a long race. Now back to the mile and the 16th. She will be moving well at the end of it. First start of the year for the number four clickety clack winner of last year's Princess Elizabeth Stakes. So we're going to take a look at her most recent start way back on November the 15th, the South Ocean Stakes, where she shot up the rail turning into the stretch, finished third as the favorite. Do you think she'll need a race off the layoff? This barn does well off long layoffs. Yeah, yeah I don't think so. I think the, actually her freshness may work in her favor in this field. She's run very well off of a layoff before uh, her first lifetime start was a win or a second beaten just ahead. So I do think that she is going to be tough. She might surprise the heavy favorite in here. So quickly clock will be my second pick. The morning line favorite and the heavy favorite is the five. She's got fire six to five on the morning line. She was 17 to one in her first start against winners, the Lady Angela last time out. She was in behind horses turning into the stretch, but she got through and I thought she had a look at it in mid stretch only to be out finished by Fairy Hill. She draws a solid outside post. She's comfortable going two turns. She has a big buyer speed figure. There's lots to like except the price. Boy, she was 17 to one last time. I'm not sure I want to take <laughs> six to five this time. I know. I, I, I went with her just because I think she's really that much the best and so lightly raced. Her only bad race was a Gulfstream on the turf. But since coming up to Woodbine, she has been uh, extremely competitive. So uh, at a short price, I'll stick with the five horse. She's got fire. She's the horse to beat and she's Dawn's top pick. I'll take a chance against her with the three go suit arena, but I'll go three five in the pick four. Dawn, always great talking to you. We're looking forward Thanks. to your insights on the Sunday card at Woodbine.